Hey friends, hope you're having a great week so far and surviving this cold weather. Uh, so this week we'll be looking at our purple lesson for the month of January, which will be looking at God's call to us. This is pretty much a, a continuation of the discussion on vocations with the kiddos. So as always, I encourage you to read this top part up here and kind of get in the background information. Um, this lesson does have quite a bit of things in it, so we'll kind of go through it quickly and show you all the little parts. So down here, it'll be talking about how um, God's speaking to his people. Just some introductory reading material that you can do with your with your kids. And then as you begin to open it up, <clears throat> it'll begin talking about ways that we can hear God talk. Um, they kind of got some great points here about that like, the challenge to hearing God speak. Often, I know if my own children, they'll ask me, like, I don't, how do you hear God speak? Because I don't like, I can hear his voice, right? So it's talking to them about how God can speak to us or other people. God speaks to the church. God speaks to scripture. Um, and it we can often, we can only really attune ourselves to hearing God speak to us if we're entering a time of prayer. And it's fostering that prayer life in a child, which can be hard when we get them past of just kind of saying memorized prayers, just the route routine of it all, which is good to the point where they can actually just spend time with the Lord and hear Him talking to Him. So um, down here, you'll notice that you, you know, it says reference your this purple book. So once you get to this spot, you will then use this one, which is the Is God Calling Me booklet. And this will kind of be an overview of the four vocations, married life, religious life, priesthood, and single life, consecrated single life. And talking with them, you can look at the different examples of each. So you'll go through that with them as well. Um, over here, you kind of continue the discussion on the vocations, particularly looking at the different ways that people can do things, that the, the daily task of a married person, a lay person versus like a priesthood sometimes can overlap, but they act their own special roles. Um, and you continue to go over the conversation as well here. Um, on this page, this, this is a reference to two activities. Uh, the first one would be my vocations coloring book. So you have this guy. And what this one is doing is inviting the children in to draw someone or to, to write a picture of someone they know uh, living out of specific vocation. The ones that are married or the priests, particularly, I'm sure the Jero Father Albert, that'll be pretty easy, even one of the deacons. And maybe they don't know a sister or a nun or a religious like that. But that we do have some in town. You can, you can look at St. Mary's. Um, they are religious. Uh, there's, you can look online even to see with some nuns and just kind of exposing them that the religious are still there and they're out there, even though we don't have, um, maybe have not been exposed to one before. And then the next activity finally is going to be a saint search activity. So it should be pretty cool. So they're giving you some options, some ideas of different saints who have lived each of these different vocations, that there have been saints who have been married, there have been saints who have been single, there have been saints who have um, been priests and have been religious, that God will use all of these vocations to bring people to holiness. So it's just inviting the kiddos to just do some little research and to learn more about one of these saints. Maybe they don't know as well about. And they, you know, you can just have a conversation with them if you want. You can do whatever you see fit. But on the back of this page, there is kind of a, a KWL chart, which is kind of a pretty common education tool where kids write down what they know, K, what they want to know, the W, and then what they learned, and the L. So just an, a tool you can use. Use it as you see fit, but the goal is for them to kind of look up some different saints from various locations and see how God has used them and, and drove them home this. And then at the end, there is just some further discussion on, the, you know, the kiddos can draw their faces in different ones to see what they would look like locations. If you want to get super creative, you could even cut out little pictures of them, you know, from a photo or something and put it on there. And they can be like, oh, look how you look as a, as a bride or look how you look as a religious. Just a cute way for them to look at um, the potential of them being locations. And here is some further information, particularly for the older saints, about how Jesus is the one priest and the, the ministerial priesthood, um, like our parish priest, like Father Albert, they share in that one priesthood of Jesus Christ, and they act in his person as they celebrate the sacraments. Um, and the only reason they have the authority and the power is that Jesus works through them, the Holy Spirit works through them, and they are in persona Christi. So, um, kind of a lot, big lesson, talks about a lot of things, but the goal of it is for them to understand that the main vocations it's kind of that second type that we talked about uh, at our last time information meeting that they have these paths and these are the, the ways that god will put in front of us to help us meet our first vocation which is to be holy and to spend heaven with him hope you have a great conversation kiddos keep making those saints i'm looking forward to seeing you guys soon god bless